Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Matthew Maley from MatthewMaley.com. Well, I'm back on the couch, so you know it's time for another weekly movie review. This one, I must confess, I actually wanted to do this while I was back in Vegas for the World Series of Poker. Um, I actually even watched the movie there, um, paid $13.95 <laughs> to watch it at the Rio, but um, I wasn't able to, to film the video. I actually had all intentions to, and the next thing I know... Nights turned to mornings, mornings turned to going to sleep until 6 p.m., and then I did it all over again. And when I wasn't at the Rhino, I was at a poker table, and when I wasn't at a poker table, I was at chilling with my buddy <laughs> over at Planet Hollywood. So I apologize, but I actually did review this movie while I was in Vegas and uh, really wanted to do the video then, but in all honesty, I guess it's good back on my uh, my trusty couch so I didn't want to you know in all honesty it's good I didn't have to change tradition there and uh, film it on some other couch and you know it's for the sake of all you guys having to adjust I you know wanted to make sure I did it here anyway um, I did watch a movie that Friday while I was in Vegas and uh, went and, or what didn't go and see anything but I uh, rented or pay-per-viewed Paul um, which is the newest Nick Frost and Simon Pegg film um, now, if you don't know, there are two British actors, two British comedians, um, behind the two pretty decently well-received and pretty funny movies of Shaun of the Dead, which is a lot better than Hot Fuzz. Um, and they're, they're, they're pretty funny humor. They've got a good British sense of humor to them, so pretty, pretty cool. Um, they also, this movie also starred Jeffrey Tambor, who, uh, if you guys are fans of Arrested Development, like I am... He plays the father, um, as well as Bill Hader has a pretty decent part. Um, the voice, at least, of uh, Seth Rogen. And finally, a really cool part by uh, Jason Bateman. In my personal opinion, I think it was the best part of the movie, but that's just me. Um, I will say, I uh, will give you a little brief synopsis of the film. It kind of features the um, two main characters, played by Nick Frost and Simon Pegg, as they go to Comic-Con and then proceed to go on a road trip of the most famous alien locations across the southern United States. Well, southwestern United States, just to say. Um, and it's cool because I've actually always been interested in aliens. It's something I've always been into. I'm not into it like, you know, a lot of the things I'm into. I'm not the type of person who's sitting outside, you know, at Roswell with this telescope waiting for the next Close Encounters. But... I, I've definitely seen some stuff in my years that I, I can't believe there's any other explanation than aliens. But that's another topic for another day, and a lot more videotape. But um, so it was it was cool seeing those those different things because they go and show Area 51 and they show a lot of these these spots. So that was kind of cool. Um, it it kind of went through the government attempting to find Paul, which as I'm sure you've seen from the previews, is an alien. Correct, yes, he is an alien. English-speaking, very crass and crude alien. He's actually very funny. Um, he's well-written, um, and Seth Rogen does a really good job with it. But I, I think a lot of the humor might get lost because a lot of it does have more of a British sensibility to it. Nowhere near as much as their other movies, um, as Sean of the Dead or Hot Fuzz. But there's still a very British feel to it. Um, at the end of the day, I thought it was a well-done movie. There's a really cool cameo at the very end, which is very, very fitting um, based on this person's other movies, which if you can't get that and you watch the movie, then you probably didn't get much of the movie. Um, but it, it, it was, it, it's a very well-written and very funny movie. I will say this. Um, I liked it. I'm glad I saw it, but I can't say that I'm going to buy it or I'm going to add it to my collection or anything like that. I did like it. But at the end of the day, oh, I'm sorry. I almost, I guess that's kind of how I felt about the movie. Um, at the end of the day, I almost feel like maybe I wasn't in the right mood for a Simon Pegg and Nick Frost film. Um, because I would give it three and a half stars. I think it was good enough that it could have been a four star movie. But I don't think mentally, and I don't know if it was just based on the fact that I, you know, played so much poker or partied so much or what but I I wasn't in that much of a mindset for a more uh, dry type of comedy 
Um, and while there was definitely some stupid slapstick moments, overall feel was much more of a dry type of comedy. And so I'm thinking maybe that's why I didn't like it as much. I still thought it was good. I still thought there were some very funny one-liners. I'm not saying I wouldn't watch it again, but I, I won't add it to my collection. I will say that. Um, so overall, I would say three and a half out of five stars. Um, definitely worth watching. Go red box it. Let me know what you think. But I wouldn't say to buy it. Um, I definitely thought Shaun of the Dead was better. I didn't really love Hot Fuzz. I would have given that about three, three and a half stars as well. So I would say those are on the same level, personally. But um, let me know what you guys think. If you guys really liked, you know, liked it, thought it was hilarious, thought I was off, whatever, let me know. Um, like I said, I always like hearing people's opinions and you know, seeing why they liked it. And don't just tell me I liked it. You're dumb. Tell me why. <laughs> but um, once again, thank you for checking out my videos. This is the weekly movie review back on my couch, so you know it's official. And uh, I am Matthew Maley. So for MatthewMaley.com, which is still having issues, for Matthew Maley Poker on YouTube, um, which, of course, I would love it if you guys like my video, comment my video, and subscribe to me. Um, check me out on Facebook. Search for Matthew Maley Poker. And finally on Twitter, check me out at, at Matthew Maley. And like I said, I've been hitting up Twitter a lot, so i posting up some twit pics and tweeting and doing all that so <laughs> add me and uh shout out to uh, to the new subscribers i've been getting um while i was out in vegas i got a lot of new subscribers on twitter um i also got probably a good four or five subscribers on uh, on youtube so thank you very much i appreciate it and uh, thanks everybody for your kind comments and words and emails and all that i appreciate it so once again matthew maley from matthewmaley.com for my review of paul three and a half out of five stars peace out y'all